What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2024 Battle Pack. It comes with 215 pieces and there's actually 9 minifigures included inside of this set too, which is a great amount for a $30 LEGO set. Looking at the front of the box, there's a lot going on here, but I have to be honest, it doesn't look too impressive when you look past the minifigures, so I'm excited to get this built up and see what my actual opinions of this set will be. So far, it looks really cool though, and it definitely has the potential to be one of the best battle packs ever. And what I really like about it is it kind of gives off the 2008 Clone Wars movie vibes, which is really cool as we haven't seen sets loosely based off this since 2008. So I'm very happy with that. So let's go ahead and unbox it. There are three bags inside of this set that divide it into two different instruction manuals. And here is our finished product with the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid battle pack. So not the biggest set by any means, but it is still cool. It's still a cool Star Wars set, so I still like it. And looking at it here, I think the minifigures definitely are the big highlight of this set. The side builds, while some are cool, I feel like mostly resemble those in a 4 plus set, which is why I'm not entirely sold on this set, especially the Republic side builds over here. The first one that we'll look at is actually my least favorite of the two. It's the small command station, and this really looks pathetic. It almost looks like something you would see in an advent calendar. It does have a stud shooter, which is pretty cool, but that's its only remarkable feature, and that's not even that crazy. And then now let's take a look at our speeder bike, which it doesn't really get much better, in my opinion. It's got a very simplistic design that you can fit two of the clones on it, so it's pretty cool for that, but again, it does have a very simple design. It's a bit scaled up from the advent calendar, I would say, but still cool, though definitely not anything impressive, especially when you compare it to the 5 at first speeder, and this does also have stud shooters, and I have to be honest, they, they really dropped the ball with the Republic side builds over here. I'm not very impressed with those. However, I think the big highlight of this set is definitely on the Separatist side. We get the return of the Super Battle Droid, which is really cool. And the side builds are also great too. I forget what this is called, but I really like this build a lot. It's small, but it does get the point across and it does look really nice. I like the two turrets towards the front of it and it's a very nice build. We also have the small crate, which I don't even really know if you'd consider that a side build since it's three pieces, but still a nice addition to the set. The big highlight of the set, again, I don't know what this is called, so I do apologize. You can roast me in the comments, but I really like the look of this droid. It reminds me of the droid that was in that 212 battle pack from 2014 but it's a very simple build but it does still have a good amount of detail for how much you are paying for it i like the navy blue color scheme and we haven't gotten anything like this in a while so it's nice to see it it's got a nice rotating head up here which is nice you can also shoot out these flick missiles and it looks nice it's not anything crazy but it is a really good side build definitely the best out of this battle pack and it's what i was most excited for apart from the minifigures when i bought this set i was like oh the Separatist build looks really cool, because we hardly ever get stuff for the Separatist. Of the nine minifigures, there are definitely a lot of highlights here, too. First off, we see the first ever plain, t uh, plain clone trooper that we've gotten in over 10 years, so that's really cool. And then we also do see the return of the super battle droids in this battle pack. The shock trooper is also a nice addition, though it is identical to the one that came out in the Coruscant Guard gunship, but still good to get these guys. It's a worthy addition to the battle pack. And now I want to go ahead and compare this to some of the other battle packs that we've gotten in recent years, just to kind of narrow it down and give you all my opinion as to what the best battle pack is to buy, whether it's on the market now or has recently retired. So first off, I want to compare this to, I think, the most worthy comparison, the 501st Battle Pack of 2020. They were both priced at $30 when they came out, and they're very similar, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of compare the two. And first off, I definitely do prefer the minifigures of the old Battle Pack, but the builds of the 501st Battle Pack are much better than the new Battle Pack's build. I do like the minifigures more in the newer Battle Pack, but the minifigures are still cool in the old 501st. Now let's compare it with the 332nd Trooper Battle Pack as well as the newer 501st Battle Pack as these ones are still available on store shelves. However, the 332nd and 501st Battle Packs of 2023 are $10 cheaper. So first off of the 332nd Troopers, I do prefer those minifigures, but this side build is terrible. It's a Swamp Speeder that wasn't even featured in Season 7 of Clone Wars, and you get another like Advent Calendar build. But the minifigures make this set a lot better in my opinion and it's probably one of my favorite battle packs you also do get commander vaughn in this set too so i still prefer the new battle pack but the 332nd battle pack is definitely a nice option too but the side builds in this one are a lot better than that 332nd battle pack and then next up we're going to compare it to the newer 501st battle pack that we saw last year and 
first off, the minifigures are way better, I feel like, in this 5 of 1st battle pack than the new minifigures. I just love all of the accessories they have. They've got unique prints, and these ones are good, but they just don't have as much customization as the newer 5 of 1st battle pack. However, when we get to the build of the new 5 of 1st battle pack, it's kind of pathetic. You just get this small turret, which it's cool, but nothing too crazy, nothing to write home about. I like it, but it's just kind of there. So I do think the minifigures are better with the 5 of 1st battle pack, but the side builds are definitely superior when you look at the new Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. So really, it comes down to what you prefer. Minifigures or side builds, though, both are great options. I definitely recommend both of them, but I think the new Battle Pack here is better. Now we're going to compare it to the Clone Trooper Command Station over here, which actually came out, I think, in 2022, was $15, I think, or maybe a little bit cheaper. But you get three Phase 1 Clone Troopers, and to be perfectly honest, I do prefer the Phase 1 design as to the new Phase 2 design, but both are great options, so I do like the minifigures in this one a bit better. Also, the side builds are okay, but it's also a $15 set, so you can't really grade it too harshly, but with these two, I think I still compare, I still prefer the new battle pack, so it's definitely really cool. And now, just for fun, I thought I'd compare it to the Hoff Troopers battle pack, and also the Snow Trooper battle pack, too. I think both of these are still available as of recording this, and the Snow Trooper battle pack definitely has some cool side builds. I like the E-Web and the small terrain, as well as the speeder bike that you get for the Hoff Scout Trooper, and the minifigure selection is pretty cool, too. I like getting the Snow Troopers and the Hoff Scout Trooper, which is exclusive to the set. And then, when we look at the Hoff Rebel battle pack, the minifigures are cool, though definitely Definitely not as cool as the snow troopers, but the side builds are kind of worse. But it, again, this is a $15 Lego set, so can't grade it too critically. But out of these three sets, I do still prefer the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack, but each one is great in my opinion. And out of these three that are currently available for Clone Wars Battle Packs, I think I would first recommend the new one that just came out. It's very cool, very solid edition. You do get the most minifigures in this one, though it is the most expensive, but all of these battle packs are really cool, so definitely let me know what your favorite is down in the comments of the recent battle packs for LEGO Star Wars. I think each one has its own strengths and weaknesses, which is kind of why it's hard to compare them, because it really comes down to what you value most in a battle pack to kind of make your decision here. But I hope you guys liked my review, and I hope you guys liked my opinions on each battle pack, and hopefully this helped you decide which one you want to buy here in 2024. But that is all for today, so definitely let me know what you guys thought of the video. Leave a comment down below. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video, and that is all for today. We'll see you in the next one.